Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Catapult Feud Hydra. Ready, aim, launch, build your castle, set up your troops, load your catapults, dot, dot, dot. This just launched either today or yesterday. It's already raised $108,000 and is the most popular project on all of Kickstarter right now, I'd be willing to bet. Yes. Because uh, there's not much going on right now. But still. Now the one thing I am confused about this is, is what the hell is Hydra? Because I see the name Catapult Fuse. I go to Board Game Geek. I see Catapult Fuse. I see nowhere about Catapult Fuse Hydra. So hopefully they answer that. Also I'd love to know uh, the time link, the player count, the age, all that good stuff. I need to know more information. Now that being said, the do I want it is probably already going to be a yes. It's you launching catapults, these things you're going to construct, and there's dragons. They have they have a, what I like to call bulletproof armor in that aspect, where, yes, I think most people, if you're interested in this style of game, are just going to be naturally inclined to be interested. Like, look, you're going to set up minis and try to knock it over. It looks like fun. Ready, aim, launch, build your castle, set up your troops, load your catapults, and use your cunning tactics to conquer the floor. The floor? That sounds weird. Okay. Uh, anywho, as always, when we go to the video, three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Okay, so I feel like we've raised $100,000 in spite of that video. That video, uh, that was that was very odd. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> I, But this, now this, now this is good. Like, this is fantastic. This one, like, honestly, I typically say you always want to have a video. And, and that's just not just me. Like, if you look at the numbers, you are much more likely to succeed with the video. But this, right here, which you're showing me, is way better than anything that was in that 20, first 24 seconds. Uh, that looks spectacular. That looks fun. That looks amazing. And that looks like a video that was a wasted opportunity to be, you know, uh, an awesome explanation of what this game is. While seamlessly interweave these absolutely just drop-dead gorgeous-looking components. And instead, it was a weird animated video. It didn't quite hit the mark, I don't think. But, that being said, 108,000 backers, or excuse me, $108,000, 1,300 backers, they are still crushing it right now. Awesome. So, Vesuvius Mina uh, Limited is a small but mighty Canadian publisher of the award-winning Dwarf series. Oh, yeah, I think I've done another uh, Kickstarter critique on them. Satori Saga, Nocturne, so they're going over all the different stuff that they've done before. I think this is great. Great. So, can you do it? I feel comfortable already, 16 created, but we are going to make sure... What did I do? I did the Upgrade Your Games. I think I did that a long time ago. So here's Catapult Kingdoms. Wait, I thought this was... So there's Catapult Kingdoms, and then there's Catapult Feuds. Interesting. So we're going back through here to make sure they don't have a bunch of things that they haven't shipped out. To make sure these aren't flaming dumpster fires in the comments section. Uh, production update rule booklet is on schedule. It should be completed by the end of January, so that one is not out yet. Upgrade Your Components... Fulfillment complete. Have fun with your swanky new components. Yeah, I kind of expect that one, especially when you're just buying those in bulk. But that's good. That one's out. Great. But looking more at games. Now, this is where things get interesting. This is Catapult Kingdoms. This is Catapult Feud. They look... They look very, very similar. Those are the same game, but with a different name. So they, they changed their name for some reason. Hopefully, we'll figure out in the updates and comments, but make sure people got this. Uh, the Hydra expansion. So it's an expansion. If it's an expansion, why don't I see it here? Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, our new campaign for Catapult Feud is now live. Terry Bomb, if you voted, vote for your favorite holiday ammo. Cause is this game out? That's all I want to know. Let's check out the comments. Hi, I saved this for my kids for Christmas. I got the next packs, but I couldn't see the neoprene mats. Is there anything new to get them? Save, uh, save this for my eight-year-old daughter for Christmas, and her cousins had an absolute blast. Okay, so it's out. People have it. Shipping is not an issue. We have it. Awesome. So, can you do it? I do feel comfortable. Check Pacific Rails, but I feel good. 
Uh, deluxe components now available. Brazil shipping update. So I feel like if they're talking about the Brazil shipping update, everything else is good. I hope for the... Oh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Eight months ago. Sure. What is the email for the support team? Thanks for the fast reply. Love it. Great customer service. Can you do it? Feel comfortable. Absolutely. Check mark. I'm still a little bit intrigued why we changed the name and what the hell Hydra is. But can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Yes. I don't think the video is very well done, but it's a, it's a launching cannons game. I mean, come on. Holiday ammo. Free for early birds. Two days left. This is awesome. So this is their second day. I'm going to guess this was, uh, this, and they're going to early, they're going to update this in their cool holiday ammo. It's a Christmas tree. That's awesome. I want it. I don't know why I want it. I don't know what it does, but I want it. I feel like they did a good job showing me what it is. Catapult Fuge. Feud. The war for the floor has begun once more. Build your castle. Aim your catapult. Knock down your opponents. Uh, 30 to 45 minutes, age of 7 plus. Seal of approval. Ig. Ig. I hate when people <laughs> smile like that. It's like, okay. Dice Hour of Excellence. It's one thing. Best board games of 2021. It's one thing. Seal of approval. Eh. This is a game I'm going to keep in my house and play with my son at some point. He'll be too old to play with. Maybe. And then my grandkids will come and we'll play that together. I honestly feel like this is such a spectacular quote that that, that just kind of sullies it a little bit. I would just erase that. Keep that. Uh, about the game. But let me know what you think about that. I just, when I see Seal of Approval... It doesn't do it for me. Two households, the Chauffords and the Cunningfields, both alike in dignity in their fair kingdoms. If only there was, wasn't that ancient grudge. Ready, aim, launch the catapults. What do I want? What price? Build your castle. Set up the troops. And use your cutting tactics to cause Because let's be honest, do I want it? Yes, I feel comfortable. Can you do it? Yes, I saw 16 back. I saw that you've done a bunch of other projects. I just need to get down to the business on the price. Choose your side. Look at those. They look gorgeous. Build your castle. Oh my god, that looks so good. Looks so good. Not present in the video. Like this. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. I want to do that. That looks fun. Make a plan. Uh, okay. <laughs> Choose your weapon. Whoa. Like, look at this. Go back to that 24, the first 24 seconds of the video. And tell me that this is not going to move the needle more than... Your, your CGI, whatever this is. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this isn't well made. It's just, you're missing out so much useful information, I think. Cool picture. Great I people playing. So oh, here we go. Boom! Hey. Like that. I want that in the video. I want more of this. Catapult feud. Two catapults. Eight rubber boulders. Uh, cards. Five cutting field troops. Sixteen bricks. Two player boards. Five Chopper Troops. So this is the long scrolling shot where we're seeing all the components. I like this. I'd love to see a price. I'd love to see what Hydra is, too. So this is the Siege expansion. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then I'm assuming you're going to have the pledge level just gives you everything, which is going to be the overwhelmingly most popular one. But we'll see. Artificer's Tower expansion. So this is limited retail. Okay, make your so make your castle a little bit weird. Launch other stuff. Cool. Ooh, action cards. Like that. Hive ammunition. Once again, don't know what this stuff means, but it may, this right here makes me more excited about the Christmas tree. That's why I think it's so important to spotlight components. I'm more excited about that early bird, and I still don't know why, but I, but I know it's going to, you know, like, I see that. Look at that. That is such a good picture. Hydra! Hey! The Hydra expansion! So it's a small box expansion, but they had to... So pretty much, here's how it is. And if you're not in the know, I'll fill you in right now. Pretty much, they have to market this as the Hydra expansion in order to put the other stuff back up on kickstarter kickstarter has the weird rule well weird i'm sure they have a reason why that you can't just put the same project up over and over and over again some companies do but what they do is they'll add an expansion they'll add this they'll add that and so they have the hydra expansion but secretly we all know the most popular thing is probably going to be getting back on to the original base game uh so cool hit me with the inches doesn't mean anything to the majority of your backers which are probably going to be for the united states of america let's double check 705 overwhelming yep Oh, that looks cool. Fantastic photography work. I got, I got to give that. Whoever did the photography work on this, huge shout out. Huge kudos. You crushed it. Uh, maybe you should have talked. Maybe the people that were doing the video, you should have, should have showed them some of this. And like put some of Oh, what is this? This is that. That. Flipping this cool thing out of a dragon's head into a castle was not in the video. But we get like, we get, we got, we got this. Like, I get it, I go for the sense of humor or whatever, but it's just, why not have both? Why not have this and that? Uh, Volcano Expansion. 
Video, 3D printed prototype, not full color or production. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. That looks awesome. Oh, so that's what that thing is actually going to look like? Oh, my goodness. It's cool. Uh, oh, and there's the volcano. It looks so neat. Don't understand how it works or logistics. I don't even need to. I want it. I want the big whale. And hopefully we get to that eventually. The big whale where I buy all this. Because that's what most people I think are going to want. Vikings expansion. Oh my gosh, there's so much to this game. Stretch goals. Holy guacamole. So here's the other thing. I don't like this. I hate the positioning of the stretch goals. I think we should immediately have it higher. But then again, I, I, I say that, but I still don't know what the pledge levels are. I still have no idea like what you're trying to get me to buy. Because it's not Hydra. Yes, there are going to be some people that get went all in on the first Kickstarter and bought Hydra. And I'm interested to see what that number is. But most of it's going to be people... I, I think you just get down to the pledge levels. Show me the whale already. Architects pack. This pack will be built during this campaign and is part of all pledges. What is what is this? So we're we're unlocking more stuff. Um, as part of, so you're just gonna get an extra bundle of, of castle building parts. That's cool. Next goal: two half bricks. Neato, neato, speedo. Okay. These have all been unlocked. Okay. I, that's a really odd uh let me know what you think about that let me know what you think about this just it's mostly focusing on building your castle different which is cool but i, I want i want a little bit of variety i think uh shoot more than boulders holiday like where's where's the ammunition why can't i get rid of this and put on a new ammo or something uh four tannenbaum ammunition rule cards add some holiday fun to your castle smashing hive ammunition which you showed me earlier dice ammunition cool royal feast so tons of extra expansion stuff that i would love to have in that whale which we'll get to i assume eventually gallery so this is the thing get all the stuff cool I've seen this picture before i remember this is it the 24 second video the four, 24 second mark of that video it changed my life maybe 25 uh okay we got pictures more pictures i get it they're great you did awesome you painted stuff cool whatevs where's the prices where's the shipping reviews great Mm-hmm. Cliston, pull me out some quotes. Especially if you got those amazing quotes from Tom. Because as a game reviewer, when I hear another game reviewer saying, I'm going to keep this game, that means a lot. And if you really think about how many games a reviewer reviews, it means something. You know, that has to do something different or be great. One of the two. Mike Maples, we got tons of review without the quotes. Not a big fan of that. Because do you take the time to click on all these? I think most do. And then an unboxing. I guess I guess they want to showcase the components. Yeah, fine. Catab oh, here we go. The question. Catapult Kingdoms versus Catapult Fuse. Whether you're smashing castles with Catapult Kingdoms or Catapult Feud, it's the same catapult launching fun, just as our slightly different name. FYI, Catapult Kingdoms successfully funded on Kickstarter in July 2020 and was delivered to over 5,750 backers. As the game grew in popularity, we applied for the trademark, but it wasn't available. But luckily, Catapult Feuds was, so we changed the name and... Bottom boom. No issues with that. Whatevs. I'm glad they I'm glad they addressed that. I have all the rule booklets right here if you really want to get into the weeds. Um, I can't complain about that. Hey, pledge levels. Hydra expansions. 30 bucks. Not many. No, 807. That gets me even more excited. I will tell you that. That gets me hyped. Because that's 807 people. That's all. That's almost a thousand print run of people that are just like, yeah, I just, I just got to have this $30 expansion. Like, think about it. That's all they're adding to their game, and they're here day one because they want that. Now, granted, I think they're getting the stretch goals as well. Ooh. <clears throat> Are you getting the stretch goals? And the stretch goals. That's clever. That's good thinking. You know, I kind of like how they're doing that now. Typically, you'll see this pledge level when you do a Kickstarter like this. I like that. Okay, so 807. That's great. I'll take it back. Hydra combo. You get the game and the Hydra. 105. The Deluxe Edition, you get everything maybe not quite 115 so what i'm seeing right now are these are good stretch these are good pledge levels whenever you have evenly distributed pledge levels not even evenly distributed but like a lot of people in every single one of your pledge levels that means you plan them out and you knew your market well so i like that the two-player bundle what is this uh get a copy of catapult kingdom siege expansion artifice expansion height and everything and uh so what <clears throat> the two-player oh so what is different Catapult Siege plus the expansion. Whoa, what am I getting? Two, plus the Siege expansion, Artificial Tower expansion, Hydra expansion. So 247 people took this. I'm not quite getting it. What player bundle is the Deluxe Edition? What am I getting differently? 
Oh, you're getting all these. You're getting all the extra little bonus. Ad so that is the whale. So that is the whale. 247 people took it. Not really popular. That that shows me something. Let me rephrase that. Not nearly as popular as the 800. Let me rephrase that. Which I think means that it's not being sold the best. Like, because let's be honest, I saw the two player bundle. And my thought was not, oh, there it is. That's what I've been, because I was looking for it. I was like, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where's the one where I can buy everything? Instead, I get to the part where I can buy everything, and I'm like, two-player bundle, what the hell does that mean? I met with confusion. I think that could be, I think that could be labeled a little bit better, because what, I still don't know what the two-player bundle, is this only for solos? Is the deluxe edition only for solo players? Like, what am I missing here? <laughs> I, I don't know. Set of two, ga oh, do you get two game mats? So you get a set of two game mats. No, this one comes with a set of two games match. All right, we got. You're gonna make me break this down. It's a catapult feud plus the siege expansion. Plus, this, but this time you put the siege expansion below. This time you put it up top. Okay, artificer's tower expansion. Got it. Hydra expansion. Bingo. Volcano expansion. No volcano expansion. Naughty. You don't get the volcano expansion unless you go with the two player bundle. Uh, Vikings expansion. No Vikings expansion. No royal feast, but no royal. So you're getting a whole bunch of extra stuff. What makes that two players? I don't. I feel like hi all. I think you need two mats for playing two players. Ah, ah. But this one has two mats. So you said it two game mats. It's it's really confusing, and I don't think it should be because the bottom line is 180 bucks on Kickstarter. Yeah, is that expensive? Let's actually look at the price. It's 30 bucks. Hydra expansion. You get this big mini that launches balls. Okay, what else? Uh, $60 for the game plus that? I don't know. I think that's a solid price. SMSRP. You know, you're not factoring in shipping, but I think that's a really solid price. 120 bucks. This is the deluxe edition. Why would I want this over this? I just... It, by putting the way two-player bundle, I'm assuming that means you could... I don't even know. 2v2? Two two? Is this a two-player game? Have I gotten the time link, the player count, the age? Can you play the game at $60? <laughs> yeah! Clerical Witches, I, don't, I assume you would have to be, like, is that... I don't think we have gotten the time link, the player count, or the age yet. Oh, there it is. Squeezed in. Two players, 30 to 45 minutes, age of 7+. plus. So, it's two players. Got that now. It's in my brain. And I'm going to assume that maybe this may, lets you go 2v2. The two play... But I don't know. I don't know. Add-ons. Four-player upgrade pack. Whoa! Catapult feud set of two game mats plus two stretch goals. Is this what we're getting here? Are we getting the four? No, it's not there. So now I want this. So now we're up to two hundred thirty bucks because obviously I'd much rather have it as a four player game. Then we have catapult feud siege expansion. We have all the stuff here. If you want to buy it all a card, Kickstarter exclusive versus limited retail. I was curious about that. Anything marked with the Kickstarter exclusive badge will only be just part of the Kickstarter campaign. Cool. Multiple game modes. Okay. One game, so many ways to play. Quick play mode. And this is good. You know, and this is great. Little things like this are spectacular to mention on your Kickstarter page. In particular, in the video or way, way before this. Strategy mode. Real-time rapid fire mode. Siege mode. Three-player mode. What? There's a three-player mode? If you have a second base game, you can play more than two players in this image below. You can set up a three-player game. This, oh, that's fantastic. That's spec. I started to say fantastic, but it said spectacular. Uh, that's awesome. This is looking a little bit like, um coconuts to me in that aspect this is really cool so i do need to get the 120 or the 150 dollar version plus the expansion to get that though okay shipping we will charge shipping after the kickstarter concludes based on the actual cost to ship we will be collected via our hive pledge manager wow wish this was clickable after the campaign shipping cost because it's it's easy i mean it's really easy to make that clickable after the campaign shipping cost widely based on where you will receive your rewards unfortunately a one-size-fits-all price isn't manageable we'll pay we will pay to ship your rewards to our international distribution center based on your delivery charge which so what's the damn price <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Hey, we got a lot of information before we get down into it. No, I gotta say, I like all the information. And I think it's good to have it. But yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, $11. Hydra. So this is a nice clean and clear, I do believe, just for the Hydra. The Hydra combo. The two-player... So the Deluxe Edition, despite the fact that 115 people have taken it, gets no love on here. So that is immediately a half-point grade drop for me. You know, if you only have four pledge levels and you just decide one of them is not going to get any shipping information, like, that's that, like, I don't like that. Now, if it's the retailer pledge, I understand because it's at least four games and sometimes you can get more games. 
Because if a retailer is interested in getting your games, I mean, as a smaller publisher, I don't know if they are a smaller publisher or not. I, well, I'm going to assume so. Because uh, most of the publishers, this is, might be shocking to some, most of the board game publishers out there are relatively small. It's just, it's just, it is the nature of the beast with our hobby. There's not much money being made by a lot of people in the hobby. Uh, Germany. So, but, so not having that, I'm not a big fan of that. Especially considering, you know, that's what 115 people wanted. Also, I, okay, so whatever. USA 1450, so, oh, there's an asterisk. Why do we get an asterisk? Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, uh, get bent. You'll include the rest of the world. So, $70. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, $27 to get the pledge that I want, which is the two-player bundle, which, <laughs> that's such an odd, like, if you just called it the three-player bundle. Like, if this is the bundle in which I could play with three players, three-player bundle makes so much sense. But it's not, I don't think. I think you need to get the extra add-on. Like, the shopping area here is not fun. And in a game like this, a game about launching catapults, I want, I, you know, I kind of I want some fun here. So, my price point for what I want, I do believe, I want to play with three players, is going to be 200 and uh, plus well the add-ons aren't even covered i don't think 257 dollars and then i could play four players or even three players i do believe i think well once again i'm not 100 percent sure which i think is bad so the, can you do it i think they dropped the ball there or the, the how much is it i think they dropped the ball there just because it's, it's just more confusing than it needs to be all right risk of challenges delivery date yada 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 shipping whatever there's a lot here oh my gosh how far does this go? I saw the word YouTube. What? What, word was, what? what are you talking about YouTube down here? Check out Watch It Paint. How to fix it. What? So, uh, for minor issues, go check. This is just so... There, okay, there's a lot of in-depth stuff there. Cool. Like I say, if you put it at the bottom, I don't even care. It's great information to have. Whatever it is, it's great information to have because it's going to answer somebody's question. The game mat add-on comes with two game mats, so enough for two players. And yes, you can play the game with the $60 pledge. Cool. The game mat add-on comes with two game mats. So the game mat add-on comes with two play mats. Enough for two players. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. The, the 120 comes with two mats, too. Uh, I have the base game from retail. How do I get the rest of the expansions? Will you buy them? You select the Hydra Pledge, you get the add-ons. Okay. Uh, I have the base game from retail. How do I upgrade to get all the content be able to play with four players? With expansions, do I need... What expansions do I need for four, for two players? So this is like, oh, you need all these. No, one to do so. Okay. How can I get the stretch goals from the previous campaign? Are including the box of Siege and Artificious Tower expansions, whatever version. Okay, cool. Those actually look like legit. Uh, good FAQ questions. So, right now, this is not a very engaging update. You have 1,337 people, and you're able to muster one comment, which means you're not really engaging them that well. Thank you, backers. Uh, so, you're going to show me this? No, this is just a... This is... Oh, cool. That's on the page. Okay. But you're showing me that. You're showing me the thing. Hey, this is what's going to look like. This is why you should be so excited. Like it. Awesome. Stretch goals. Unlocked. Great. Uh, this is where we get here. Did you gender the question? Nope. You just said, great idea to make new bricks. Very excited to see this completed. Ask them a question. You know, engage them. And so, so 110 comments. Same thing here. Churn it. Get it moving. I mean, you're number one right now. You are number one in popularity with the bullet. But Kickstarter right now is super soft. Like, the projects that I'm going through, they're, they're few and far between. Like, I legitimately have to scroll very far to find a board game. Like, to find an actual board game. It's it's difficult. It is it is a ghost town. I met you this year at Spiel and Essen. We took a picture together. You plan to join Spiel and Essen next year, but guards uh, can't find the Architects Pack. We have to wait until it's all unlocked to add to our pledge. The Architects Pack is essentially all these stretch goals from this campaign. So, for now, all backers will get one for free with their pledge. We will not be adding as an add-on right now because we don't know its final content. We want to avoid confusion. Too late. After the end of the campaign and our Hive pledge manager, we will give you the option of getting extra architect packs if you wish. I backed the previous campaign and happy to hear it to grab the Hydra. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of people who like this game and are here for the Hydra and like, yes, yes, yes. But what I'm also seeing is a little bit of a failure to to like grab new people and bring them in because i mean yeah we got we got a lot here we got what like 300 ish but that's you know i think it could it, because it's just a catapult game like i'm naturally inclined to like this 
but it was just more confusing than I wanted it to be. So final grade on this one. FAQ, uh, do I want it? Yes, I do. In spite of your video. I didn't think the video was good. I didn't think the shopping area was good. But the game itself, yeah, I still want it. Your own bull performance, launching cannons. It looks like something my kids would absolutely enjoy. I've loved Coconuts. I've loved uh, that other Catapult game that I reviewed earlier this year. I just love the basic idea of Catapults in games. More of them, yes, please. Can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. Your customer service appears to be top-notch. And Did you have collaborators? I, I forgot to look at that. Are there collaborators? No, it's just one person. So, spectacular customer service there. At least as far as I'm seeing Excellent. Can you do it? Big check marks. How much is it? The price seems high. Well, actually, you know what? No, it doesn't. $60 for the game and the Hydra. I don't have a problem with that. I think it's just confusing. I think that's my main issue. I don't think the price actually seems high. I just think it seems confusing. And I don't like that. So how much is it? While it is a check, I, I'm going to give it kind of like a not check because it's just more confusing than I would want it to be. But at the end of the day, I'm. St What's the final grade? I think I give it a. This is a really hard one. <laughs> like that video. Like, I just. I can't get behind that video. Especially after all the cool stuff I've seen. Like, if you just had, like, a PowerPoint from, like, seventh grade of just, like, these awesome pictures. Like, these pictures. Not that. You. Yes, you. You sell. You sell. Like, that's a great one. Looks cool. Like, look at this. Oh, set it up. That's fun. Like, this is awesome. Not not you. Not you. Um, so I think the video is really my biggest doubter. If we just both went the three-player... Is it just we both want the three-player? I don't know. So I'm going to go with a... C-? minus. I think it's another C-. minus. I, I think it's more confusing than it needs to be. I don't think that video is engaging new audience. I think you have a fantastic game. And I actually, I think this is the same thing I had yesterday. I think you have a core audience that is like, this game is freaking awesome. And they're here. They're paying 30 bucks for Hydra and extra pieces so they can build up their castle and have more elaborate, fun castles and go three players and four players and do all this cool stuff. But I don't feel like you're doing a great job bringing in the new people and that's a shame because it's it's it looks like a really, really, really stinking fun game. But let me know in the comments below. I'm a C minus level. What is your grade for Catapult Feud Hydra? Once again, separate what you think about the game for like what you think about the Kickstarter page. Because I've had a lot of people blast me. It's like, this game's amazing. It's like I'm not judging a game. I'm judging the presentation of the game. But let me know your grade in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And I hope you're having amazing holidays. Bye bye.